what is the easiest way to mix a bag of concrete? Surprisingly, you come to YouTube asking a crazy question and you're gonna get a really helpful answer. Stay tuned. <laughs> so what is the best way to mix a bag of concrete? I mean, get somebody else to do it, am I right? Okay, so here's the thing. It's actually a pretty simple tip, but it's gonna make your life a world easier. I've mixed approximately one gazillion batches of concrete or mortar, so this tip is something that is real life, is real world, will work, will make a huge difference, and it's very, very simple, and it's simply this. Make your mix on the, the, the wet side, however you're mixing it, whether it's in a bucket with a hand or in a wheelbarrow with a shovel, drill with a paddle, in a concrete mixer, whatever the case is, make a very wet version of the concrete or mortar that you're making. Now you can't use that, of course that's going to be a problem, it would be too wet and it would be compromised in terms of strength. But it's very, very easy for the mixer, whether it be a person or a machine, to mix a liquidy mix together. And once you've got that, dry it up. So what I mean by that is I would then add a little bit more sand or cement, or both sand and cement in a ratio, ideally, and add a little bit more and a little bit more until the two wet mix starts to dry up. It's a little bit drier, it's a little bit drier, and now it's just perfect. And it really only takes a couple of seconds to do once you get good at it. So you throw your mix in together with all of the water that you're going to need. It's mixing together. It's very wet at this point. Now you add a little bit of sand and a little bit of cement in a ratio of something like two parts sand to one part Portland cement. Hopefully the sand is really dry. It's helpful for this application if the sand is on the drier side. And so when you add the Portland cement and the sand together, they're both very dry components and it's going to absorb a lot of that extra moisture that you have. So what you achieve is you're able to make large volumes of concrete or mortar very, very quickly without straining the equipment. So you can throw the match in, it mixes really quickly, it gets a thorough distribution, dry it up quickly with a little more sand and cement, and boom, you're ready to use it. So it doesn't seem like much, but it's going to stop you from binding concrete in the bottom of your bucket because you have too much dry cement powder at the bottom or, you know, fighting with a concrete mix. This eliminates that completely. No more fighting with it. You just make it quickly, balance it up in terms of how dry or how wet you need it to be, and then you can use it immediately.